Good morning, Farmdale. Let's come back. Whether you stand or sit, let's worship. We got a lot to be thankful for. Wandering into the night, wanting a place to hide this weary soul. It's back home. And I try with all my mind, but I just can't win the fight. So much to be thankful for. And maybe you're sitting there this morning, Ephesians 6 tells us, and you're like, Pastor Heath, I don't feel super thankful. I'm fighting a battle in my life right now. Ephesians 6 tells us that what? The battle is not against flesh and blood, but who? Principalities of the dark. That's, that's our battle. And whose battle does that belong to? That belongs to God. And so this morning we're preparing ourselves, arming ourselves for battle. Amen.
let's put on the armor this morning. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, that'll be long to you. Every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the our future. We know who holds tomorrow. We know that the battle belongs to Jesus and that he is victorious. We're going to teach you guys a new song this morning. It's called I've Witnessed It. And this week I was reading through John chapter 4 and Jesus shows up to Jacob's well. There's a Samaritan woman and this Samaritan woman was super shocked that Jesus was talking to her. We see this analogy going back and forth. Um, of of she's, she's talking to Jesus. Jesus is telling her, hey, give me a drink from the well. You know, she's like, I have nothing to get a drink from at the well. Um, and so that's when Jesus says, well, people that drink from this well will continue to be thirsty. But if you drink from the living water that God can provide, you'll never be thirsty again. And so this, this, this lady comes to a, a saving knowledge of Jesus. And then Jesus commissions her to go back into her community. And I don't know if you know the rest of the story about what happened, but I'm going to pick up 
from where she goes back into her community in John chapter 4, starting with verse 39. It says, many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I have ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there for two days. And many more believed because of his word. So this wasn't just one person coming to Jesus. This was Jesus commissioning a woman, and this woman goes into her town and saves the whole flipping city. We're sitting here with 150 people in the same Jesus that spoke to that one woman commissions us in Matthew 28 to go. 150 people. And how? How does that happen? By the word of our testimony. The word of our testimony. Listen, I'm seeing, I'm looking out here and I'm seeing some dear saints. The dear saints in the church that are 60 years and old to raise your hand. They've witnessed it. I know I'm out. I know I'm out, but you've witnessed it. You've seen it. Right, Charlotte? Brother Gerald? <laughs> Miss Mary, you've witnessed it. You've tasted and seen that the Lord is good. You've tasted and seen, and he commissions us to go. If we truly believed that Matthew 28 commission passage, if we truly believe that, what would that mean for our families, for our city, for our nation? There's 150 willing bodies that Jesus is commissioning. We have in this room enough people to reach the nations. It's called I've Witnessed It. Let's, let's worship together.
You're strong and I've witnessed it. You're constant, I've witnessed it. And I'm confident I'll see it again and again. You love and I've witnessed it. You heal and I've witnessed it. You save and I've witnessed it. And I'm confident I'll see it again. You're strong and I've witnessed it. You're constant, I've witnessed it. And I'm confident I'll see it again and again. You love and I've witnessed it. You heal and I've witnessed it. You save and I've witnessed it. And I'm confident I'll see it again.
streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus. Can we stand against this morning? Oh. Stands above them all, and the angels cry. 
name of Jesus. Your name is the highest. Your name. church and now may you walk and go in the grace and peace of God may he bless you keep you encourage you and strengthen you this week before you leave hug someone pass on the blessing because you're blessed church love you guys you're dismissed